Okay. Um, and I'm on a roof. Uh, I can't get down. You put me on a roof! Maybe I can get down on the rocks. Don't worry, I figured it out, game. Hey there, YouTube friends. Welcome back to another episode of Coal Creek Park. Um, so a little backstory to this episode. It's going to be a little bit different than I normally do. Uh, normally I will uh, kind of take a little walk around the park, show you some sped up clips of me building things and whatnot. And um, I'll do a little bit of that today, but I kind of ran into some um, unfortunate issues yesterday leading into today. And um, I kind of wanted to start this episode with a quote from Lemony Snicket. And it just says, at times the world may seem an unfriendly and sinister place, but believe that there is much more good in it than bad. And all you have to do is look hard enough. And what might seem to be a series of unfortunate events may in fact be the first steps of a journey. So I wanted to start with that in particular just because yesterday I had this whole plan where I really wanted to work on Coal Creek Park, and I did, and I wanted to record it for you guys and really make this, you know, grand, great thing. But uh, turns out my computer had other plans with the files that I recorded and decided to uh, corrupt them, I guess. I mean, it didn't decide to. The files were just corrupted today when I went in to edit them. So everything that I did yesterday for longer than I should have uh, was gone. So uh, here I am scrambling to get an episode out to everyone and kind of having to do it by the seat of my pants, if you will. So I figured today we'll just take a nice slow walk through all of the redoings and reworkings and additions to Coal Creek Park. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit different. Like I said, uh, probably a little bit longer episode, I'd imagine. Um, I normally like to keep these between seven to 10-ish minutes long, uh, but I think we might go a little bit longer today because we're going to take a nice walkthrough of the park. Um, I did do, like I said, kind of a lot. I'm going to go through fast through this part. This was all in previous videos here, but I did do kind of a lot to our main street, and you can already start to see peeking up there uh, a little bit of the differences in the main street. Um, I was not entirely satisfied with the way the main street ended, how I ended it. I felt I kind of rushed through it and uh, as I've said before, half butted it. <laughs> so I, you can start to see the changes already. I went through and made some drastic, <clears throat> but I believe necessary changes to the look and flow of the main street. So the, these buildings here, the structures of them are pretty much the same, except for the architecture, um, bits here. So, I mean, I just, I, I feel like I wanted to give the buildings more depth to them overall. I had uh, noticed this in other people's builds and just in real life that uh, my buildings were very flat, didn't have a lot going for them as far as uh, depth goes, you know, protruding objects coming out, little details here and there to make them feel just that much more real. So I went ahead and uh, added on and changed up some colors and okay, this probably is like super cheesy and not even that good looking, but I added a little AC vent here. <laughs> I just, I don't know if anyone else has thought to add AC vents, but <laughs> there's my AC vent. <laughs> I think it's a sci-fi prop. I uh, <gasps> have floating lamps. Skirt. Just look up. Don't, don't do that. That's why this is a WIP, right? Work in progress. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, and this is the other drastic change here is I took out a building, an entire building, gone, leveled. The executives at Coal Creek Park decided that the building was out of place, out of touch, old, and it just needed to be replaced by something. And what they realized, they, me, I'm the executive, ha ha ha. Um, what I realized is that I didn't have a ride for a while in the park. And I think that's an issue that some of the really big builders have. And I, I'm not saying I'm a big builder. I'm just saying in general, when you're doing a big project is you get caught up in doing all these magnificent buildings and architectures and just, you know, making the place feel real and everything, man, I can't believe I did all those floating lamps. I'm sorry. That just is going to bug me. But, um, anyways, you build all these great structures, but then you kind of realize if you look through where are the rides, you know, you got to remember, this is an amusement park. This is a theme park. We want to ride things. I mean, sure. It's great to look around and make it feel real, but we need rides, right? So that was kind of my thinking of putting this great old Venetian carousel, which I'm 
I want to say is done. What am I doing? We should walk through the line, right? I want to say is done, but I might put a cover on it. I haven't tackled that, and I haven't tackled, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, building those kind of structures yet. And uh, I, I can do that now that I have the I'm By the way, I'm purposely keeping us right because I don't want you to see the new coaster quite yet. You saw a little glimpse of it. But anyways, um, yeah, I think I need to definitely put a cover over this. I mean, it, it is pretty, pretty. It's pretty, pretty as it is. Uh, but it, it, I've seen guys such as, you know, Geekism, uh, Mineral, just I believe Ruble, just all these guys make beautiful covers for their carousels. And uh, I think Coal Creek Park deserves the same kind of treatment, so I'm going to kind of dive into that and figure out how to do that. Like I said, I'm not—I I have an idea of how to do it. Um, I know it's going to be a piece count nightmare, but <laughs> it's going to be worth it, though. It'll look great. So uh, yeah, but that was the general line for just a nice little topiary set, kind of—I um, guess you would say vi Victorian gardens inspired, but not necessarily. Just kind of like. We'll go to the bathroom then. I got bathrooms around. Um, but yeah, so all right, I'll start to look to the left a little bit. There's glimpses of the newest addition to Coal Creek Park, which is not done at all. Just I'll, I'll preface it with that. It is not done at all. Uh, but I, again, kind of like with the wooden coaster when it wasn't done, I wanted to show you guys because I'm like, I'm like not overly proud of it, but it's like I'm decently proud of like how it's turning out. Um, and we'll get to there, but this is a nice little board that's uh, pretty done. I got some little details to it, but I'm going to eventually get um, some Photoshop times of all the rides that we have in here. Right now I just have, um, I think I took this picture at Hollywood Studios when I worked there of the wait times. So that's what I have in its place, placeholder. You know, I talk about that a lot in my videos, how a lot of things are placeholder. Um, there's our newly, can y'all move? I mean, rude, Betty and Debbie. I mean, dang. Always Betty and Debbie. Uh, there's our Built in more train station. Train station is still a work in progress, but I kind of wanted to finish up other bits of the main street here to kind of uh, get more inspiration for the train station, kind of come back to that. Um, yep, this area here, not much to look at, just nature. And we'll kind of speed up through here to our other addition. Bum, 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 it's a building. <laughs> I, I swear, only in like simulation and building and management style games uh, like cities, skylines, and planet coaster especially can someone go, and I built a building and the community or someone just goes, whoa, holy cow. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying this building's magnificent. It's pretty basic, if you will, but I'm just saying overall, someone uploads a video of a building and just, ah, anyone else that doesn't have our creative mindsets would just kind of be like uh yeah right on bro building let's walk in it <laughs> so anyways but uh this is our little i don't know why it's a maxillante to be honest with you i uh sometimes at the end of a build when i'm kind of getting tired and my creativity is going low a little bit i'll just throw something on there that i know i'm going to change later can kind of like glaringly off to like remind myself like hey change that oh and we will um Look in the back here. I don't do interiors, so just before we go in here, just don't expect anything. I don't do interiors. <laughs> but there's going to be... Oh, I didn't put the floor down. There is going to be a little uh, food area out here. A little patio, if you will. I have a nice shot of the eventual coaster to be named. Actually, I did name it, but you don't know the name, and I do. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's continue down our path here. And this is where it becomes very work in progress. I mean, very work in progress. And uh, but you get some nice shots of the coaster as you make your way. I know I'm off the path. I know. Bad guest, right? Where's security? Oh, I don't have them. They can't get me. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm going away. I'm going wherever I want. Anyways, come back, come back, come back. I'm back to it. Um, yeah, but all of this is a, if you were to do your first draft on a piece of paper, this would all be first draft, very much so. The coaster is pretty much complete. Um, oh, and of course it's broken down right now. Come on, get over there before I... <laughs> How embarrassing is that? My coaster's broken down. Honestly, I don't even know if I have a mechanic set to over here. That's funny. Uh... We'll figure it out when I get over there. I'll slowly walk through the queue and I might have to do a cut and fix the ride. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, here's our little uh, bridge here. Pretty much done with this. Might add a little roofing here. Nice little drawbridge over the, or not a drawbridge, just a regular bridge over the coast hair. 
this coaster is very much so as you can see it goes straight down into a little gully i wanted to use terrain a lot i know i harp on that a lot with my coasters and just overall with this park but terrain is a huge thing i can't stress enough if you are um building in this game and you've you know, I've heard, I've had some of you message me like, you know, how do you get your yada yada to look like that? How do you do this? How do you do that? And to be honest with you, like, I don't see myself as being that good at this game, but I see myself as being able to manipulate the terrain in a way that you get some good vista views, some good overlook views. You know, like this whole thing right here, the line for this ride goes down eventually into this hole right here. And I just manipulated the terrain enough that when this gets built up, it's going to look really cool, I think, in the future with all this stuff down here. So when you have guests up above looking down, it it tweaks the perspective a little bit. Um, we'll take a just quick walk through this ride here. Um, oh, and I guess I should say, I forgot. Sorry, I got harped on levels and terrain. This ride is called the Grizzly, as in Grizzly Bear. So, uh, all this is very, uh, like I said, very work in progress, so judge lightly. Or what am I talking about? This is Planet Coaster. Judge harshly and critically. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> no one. Everyone is super respectful and awesome in this community. But uh, yeah, the Grizzly. And this is uh, one of the first rides that I've done where I tried to do almost 100% uh, custom inversions. The loop here, I did not do custom. I, I don't know how to go about that i think i've seen one or two people do it before but i just don't really know how to go about that and i feel like the in-game um i'm gonna pause here because i want to kind of tell the story of what i'm doing here um the in-game loops i feel are pretty nice but pretty pretty nice but yeah these uh rolls here i don't even know if i can classify them as zero g rolls uh, i did by hand through the four and five meter method way i did some research on them uh Please let me know how to improve them because I still feel like maybe that's just always a thing in the game, but I feel like they're still kind of quote unquote janky or just not. They're kind of like, mm, I don't know how to explain it, but you'll see when we're going. So anyways, my idea with the, the queue here, little behind the scenes thought process is to have the people kind of walk through this densely wooded forest path as if you're going to a um, nature reserve, just a park on a stroll, if you will. Okay, so you're just walking around and then eventually you're going to stumble upon or head into this cave very dark cave I, I took the dark texture and just everything made this really dark and have rocks a million in here and then you're gonna start to hear some low rumblings of a grizzly bear just you know these little oh i heard it fixed awesome thanks larry um so then you're eventually gonna get out of the cave like i said there's gonna be little um i think that's great about story and hollywood take note not throwing something in your face right away subtle hints you know what I mean? Like, so throughout that cave, like I was saying, it's not going to be a full on scare. Here's the bear. Here's a big roar. It's going to be subtle things, little lights, you know, low temp lights, um, low sounds, just things to kind of heighten your senses to be like, you know, something's coming. So, I mean, that's just kind of like story writing 101 and ambience 101 i guess but um yeah anyways let's take a ride on a very work in progress uh grizzly the grizzly <laughs> and i am taking comments and suggestions for this ride please 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 i think i've already noted, mentioned that but please 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 colors you know theming what do you want to see on this ride what would you you know if you give me a good enough idea i'll throw your name on there somewhere you know <laughs> on into the station <laughs> perfect so oh hey of course it jumped us out way out here um so that was the grizzly and the main street there um let me jump back over here you kind of saw a glimpse of it and i'm gonna do my best to kind of hide it and also kind of purposely not hide it but these are backstage buildings uh work in progress but they're not going to take too much theming to do um Again, I just keep harping on like when I worked at Disney, but yeah, when I worked at Disney, this is literally what you saw in the backstage. Like 
these are the buildings. You know what I mean? And that is a different shade, I think. Um, so I just, like I said, I clearly remember seeing this and others in the community know what I'm talking about too with the uh, green color here, the fadeaway green. So uh, that's going to be your back main backstage, you know, figure wardrobe. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, we had wardrobe. We had our mess hall. We had, um, <laughs> believe it or not, we had a uh, hair cutter. So a barber. So that could be our barber shop. And, uh, you know, your admin facilities, executive facilities and whatnot. So that's that idea there. And this is our little backstage. It's still a work in progress. And what I mean um, when I said I want to uh, purposely and not purposely hide it is to eliminate these buildings from sight entirely is almost impossible and I don't want it to be like that. Is this open? Yeah. Um, I almost want you to be able to get little glimpses of it just because even at, and again, I'm sorry if I've mentioned this before, but in past videos, but even at Disney, like, you know, the king of immersion, the king of not being able to see, you know, real world things or whatever. If you look hard enough in certain lines, you can see these buildings. And so I'm going to, like I said, purposely mess with the foliage over on this little ridge line here and over here to the point where, yes, they're blending in with the trees I'm putting over there, but I might leave a gap open or two where, you know, you can see an aircon unit. You can see a little edge of the building or something. So just that... um realistic jankiness as i like to call it realistic jankiness tm <laughs> um that parks have so i believe i did some little work i need to finish up the rock slide bolter still um that's a wip for sure that's basically done i did a little work there but other than that that is where we're at my friends um just trying to think here uh, if you know you know when you do like a really big project and you work at it for a few hours and then you kind of do an overview and you're like wait was that really all i did <laughs> that's kind of where i'm at now um what else can i explain that i've seen in real life parks this up here this might look weird where the rocks are kind of up on top of the building like that i have seen this at uh two parks before universal and disney i mention those parks all the time um but yes i this i saw this at universal at the old dragon challenge i believe it was the recently deceased r.i.p dragon challenge um where here while i'm talking getting that, make it nice um where yeah they had a show building that would was kind of overlooking the main course of the coaster and to hide it they kind of put some fake rocks up like this and some fake tree lines and whatnot so that's my idea behind that but uh anyways i think i'll wrap it up here guys um and i'll just end it by saying first Happy birthday, Planet Coaster. That was a recent anniversary that just came by. One year anniversary and uh, awesome. I mean, the community is great. The development team has been nothing but fantastic in listening to the community. And um, yeah, and touching on the community, also big shout out to uh, Geekism and Ruble Trillions. You two especially. They uh, have been gracious enough to uh, retweet me on Twitter and kind of just welcome me if you will into the planet custer community with open arms and uh yeah and i just really appreciate all the positive feedback y'all have been uh giving me overall in this series and i really uh you know hope you uh continue to enjoy it and tell me how to improve it so that you can improve it or improve it tell me how to improve it so you can continue to enjoy it even more and um also look for my new collab series I'm doing with a fellow gamer from the Netherlands uh, area, uh, Defu Gaming. We are making a Disney-inspired collaboration park with a little twist on it. So uh, look out for that. I think I put the first episode up already. And um, yeah, I think I'll be starting a few new game series as well coming up where I do some actual playthroughs, if you will. You know what I mean? So those will be a little bit longer episodes talking through, playing the games. And um, that'll be all announced here in the coming week or weeks or so after we're done with our we being my girlfriend and i are done with our long move to the uh, wisconsin area from denver which is happening this coming weekend so uh it'll be a crazy week but it'll be a fun week finally get this done with and then i will be 110 percent uh planet coaster and other games so again appreciate all of you be sure to hit that like and subscribe button share this with your buddies if you so please and uh, i will see you all in the next installment bye